Hey ladies, this is Darkest Fairy. Um, this is going to be hopefully as quick as I can possibly make it. This is going to be my cloth pad stash video since a lot of you ladies have, have asked to see them. So um, of course I'm going to explain a few things along the way. Alright, so this is one of the first cloth pads. Oh, so sorry. Okay, so I have my camera rigged up in the most ghettoish way. So, all right, so this is one of the first cloth pads that I've made. Now, as a disclaimer, um I do not make these professionally. I learn from YouTube and um 90% of my pads do not have snaps on them. You will see what most what some of them look like with the snaps, but to me they're it's pretty time consuming, so I don't put them on because it for me it doesn't affect their functionality but once i do get a press to once i do get a press to make it easier um to put the snaps on then i will all right now this rigging is not working so i'm just gonna hold it all right so this is one of the first liners as you can see it's like super thin i mean super thin like i that doesn't even show how thin it is but anyway so yeah so that's a liner and then i have my one my only thong liner and i love these prints so this is, these are the snaps so here's the back and so you'd pretty much just snap it into your underwear and have a cute little heart all right so this was one of the one of the first thing um pad cloth anything that i've made and i wasn't really versed in you know the construction or the layering or anything like that so i didn't know what um what all i should put in it so this is literally only two layers of cotton which is not an overnight uh the size is an overnight size but the um layering is not so this is just going to pretty much be a wide coverage liner which i'm pretty sure is going to come in handy once i get my bfp okay so now we're going to go into the regular um absorbency liners which of course are my favorite because i can pretty much wear these um from cycle day one to cycle day five or three or four all right so this is a regular liner this whole thing is fleece um not including the inside the core um and typically people don't want fleece on the part that touches your skin but for me it, it works and i it's really soft so i find it comfortable okay so i'm going to show this one simply for uh, for the fact of showing where i have come from and also um yeah I, I use it and the functionality is just as good as all the others all right so this is one i think this was the first or the second pad that i've ever made so first or second okay so this is old faithful this is one of my heaviest absorbency pad as you can see oh gosh this is i mean we got all kinds of mistakes all over the place so this one because i did the middle and the back separately it's super absorbent but it does take a lot longer to um wash and you can see my stitching is crazy one of my first and then i have some of the stitching like on the sides that has um come undone and as you see but this i mean she worked she worked <laughs> all right and so here is the third pad i have ever made and unfortunately, I use two different kinds um, color of thread. And so this is what I got. And this was the first time I actually used um, towels for the inside. And um, it, it was all right. It was all right. Um, I don't necessarily do that anymore. But I think if I got a towel that um, I felt was nice enough, then I would. But I upcycle a lot of stuff. Oh, child, as you can see, why would I use black stitch for this? But she work. <laughs> okay, and this is the fourth pad that I've ever made. Now, I, for I, the way I constructed it, I did it wrong and I wasn't able to flip. Oh, let me see if I can show y'all. So this is pretty much an inside out pad. But once again, she work. <laughs> And this would be a regular liner as well. And this is actually um, cotton on the front and the back and microfiber on the inside. And it works perfectly fine for a moderate flow. 
Okay, this is actually one of my most recent pads, and I absolutely love this fabric. Oh my gosh. So this is cotton on the top, um, cotton, cotton and bamboo on the inside, which is super absorbent, and then fleece on the back. Oh, sorry, let me take that. Sorry. Yeah, cotton and fleece on the back and it's super absorbent. But if I show y'all how thin this thing is, like that don't make no sense. But it is so absorbent, you guys. So this is really good for a regular. Okay, so I found a pattern that I really, really like. So I made a, a bunch of these. Well, not a bunch, because I still I still need to make more. So this was some flannel that I um I had. And this is what it looks like with the snaps. Oh, sorry. This one doesn't have any snaps. I don't mind it not having snaps because of the fleece backing. Um, it doesn't move whatsoever. So that's not a problem for me. All right, so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because we're already at six minutes. So we have this, monkeys, and I just used some jeans that are too small for me now as the backing. And that, I mean, these things don't move and it's, um, it's a soft enough jean to where it's not like stiff or bunchy. So I'm going to layer these on top of each other. All right. So then once again, we have the pretty much the same pattern. Got this fabric and that fleece backing. Then I have cheetah print with fleece backing. Some most of the time I try to make the front and the back match and look cute, but if I can't, then y'all know what these are used for, so it's not really all that important. Um, so this is a onesie that a friend of mine, her son, no longer wore, so she wanted to she wanted it to still be used in life because she does not plan on having any more kids. So we repurposed it, <laughs> and I actually really like this because it's super soft. And there you go, the denim backing again. And then these wonderful polka dots with a lighter denim backing. Love it. I love polka dots. All right. And y'all remember the, the second or third pad that I made? This one right here. So here it is in that form. Because I have like two yards of this fabric, two yards of this fabric, and two yards of this fabric. So of course, a lot of my pads are going to be made out of those. But this one and the jean backing. <clears throat> then another one of these with the fleece backing. Okay, so this is all of these in this pattern. And as you notice, only one of them has the snaps on it. And they still work perfectly fine. And as you can see, like every pad that I've showed you guys, um, with the exception of this one and the next ones that I'm about to show you, I have worn for at least six cycles. So as you can see, no staining, no staining. This is how the pattern is. No staining, no staining, no staining, no staining, no staining. I mean, no staining whatsoever. Okay, so these were, I like to try different patterns, um, especially once I get more um, uh, experience. So here is one that I just finished. So I haven't been able to wear it, but this one I did um, two layers of cotton, two layers of bamboo, and then two more layers of cotton. And I just love this so pretty much. And here goes the fleece on the back. So you would snap it like this. And this would be regular as well, but it's more, it's longer. And I like that because my butt is kind of big. And so, <laughs> and so I need to make sure to get as much coverage as I can without the bulkiness. Um, this is the same um, order of layering and this would be a regular as well. So this is my arrow pattern um, and same thing, no snaps. I have not put snaps on yet, but once again, they still work perfectly fine. So there's that arrow. We all know arrows are like super in now. Don't mind my mess. All right. And then so those are all my regulars. And then I only have three overnights. One of them I've used. The other two I just made. So here is that fleece uh, material again. And this was the first overnight that I made other than that liner. And um, this has the towel in it as well. I mean, it, it, it works. It works definitely for overnight, but um, I needed something very much longer. 
All right, and so this is one that I just made. Oh, I just love it. This has so many layers. I don't even remember how many layers, but nothing. And I, okay, personally, for overnight, I like bulky pads. I do, because I feel more comfortable and I like the comfiness that I feel. Um, these, the wings could be longer. Um, as you can see, like, mm, well, that's all right. That's all right. But yeah. And for the overnights as well, it doesn't, for me, the not having the snaps, it doesn't affect the functionality of it. But what I really like about this, which was actually um, not on purpose, I don't know if you can see that, but if I turn it on its side, it sort of has a um, curve to it. I didn't do that on purpose. I think there's something that I did wrong in making that one, but that is such a pleasant surprise. <laughs> and this, um, for my last one, this is my big mama and I'm so excited what I really want um okay so these are the overnights that I've shown you so far what I really want is that my overnights can double as postpartum pads which is why I make them so thick um so these are going to be perfect for after we bring baby well after I give birth because I was going to say bring baby home but I don't plan on giving birth at a hospital so here is Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the screen a little bit. <laughs> All right, so this is the Big Mama. And this is my ironing board. So if you know how wide an ironing board is, oh, here, let me just put my arm down. That's how big this pad is. Um, It's super thick. Well, it's not that thick. My stitching could be better, of course. Once again, I am not a professional. So, um, I mean, this will go from underwear line to underwear line. <laughs> but I love it and once again it will do definitely double as a really good postpartum pad just snap it here once I put the snaps on and then that'll be it so you guys that is my clock pad stash I am 98% sure that this is going to be my that this is our cycle I just have um, about seven days left to to test and I will wait the whole seven days Real, real quick, I do use um, the reusable menstrual cups, and I don't know where mine is right now, um, but along with those, I do use interlabial pads. Um, these are the first ever that I've made. Well, this was the first one, and I did all these by hand because for some reason my sewing machine wouldn't allow me to do it. So they look ratchet, but they work perfectly fine. If you don't know what an interlabial pad is... Uh, Google it. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But yeah, they work perfectly fine. Very functional. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. I do not make them for sale or reproduction or anything like that. Um, but um, I, I'm part of a cloth pad group on Facebook. So I would love to answer any questions if you guys have them. All right. Love you guys. Bye.